guys, um, a very quick video today just on uh, this that I managed to pick up. It's a wash burn. I think this one's the SS80 um, from memory. Um, anyway, Steve Stevens um, did a very short run with wash burn um, when he hooked up with Vince Neil around about 92, 93. Um, it was pretty quick. Um, the Frankenstein um, is pretty famous, pretty well known, um, and was a USA custom shop model that came out of the, the Washburn custom shop, of course. Um, unbeknownst to Steve, um, Washburn went off and started producing guitars out of Korea, Japan, sorry, no, Korea, Indonesia maybe, um, and China. So this is one of the Korean models. Um, it's uh, an SS80 um, as opposed to the SS100 that came out of the States. Um, the rumour that I've heard um, is that, um, yeah, Steve wasn't aware of the Chinese and Korean and Indonesian models coming out. Um, he had not signed up to a cheaper um, version of his guitar coming up. Um, and so whatever reason he and they decided to end it, um, end the relationship there. So um, it was a pretty quick um, relationship. Um, I believe maybe around 100, 150 of the USA custom shops um, were produced, maybe less, maybe a little bit more, but it's not many. Um, don't know how many of these got produced, but anyway, let's move on to this. Um, so this is a, um, possibly Korean, I think is made. Um, it's got Steve Stevens model on the on the headstock. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so look, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's absolutely fine for a, um, you know, a Korean, Asian made guitar. Um, most guitars coming out of that region are pretty solid. Um, and that's why companies like Washburn and Fender and, and a lot of other companies make them from there. Um, consistency is good. Um, quality is reasonably good. Um, cost is obviously really fantastic. Um, so yeah, picked this up from a guy in Sydney who wasn't using it anymore. Got it for a few hundred dollars. Um, it is what it is, it's great. Um, so what I have now done is bring it up to spec a little bit. Um, they do not come like this. <laughs> um, so I've dropped some um, bare knuckles, um, obviously the Rebel Yells, because that's what Steve uses. And I've also dropped in a, uh, a real Goto, um, the Japan, the gold one, um, because that's what Steve was using on the SS100. So sort of brought it up a level, um, a little bit closer to the SS100 because these are really hard to find. Um, so, um, replace the electronics, got a new volume knob in there, got a new um, switch, a new jack. Um, yeah, it's really taken it up a notch um, and obviously set up and all that stuff now. So, um, it's come up really, really nicely. It's, it's great. Uh, plug something in. Um. Um, it's in the Vince Neil tuning, the old Motley tuning, which is down the whole step. Um, so everything. down a whole step so your bottom E actually sounds as a D um, and your A sounds as a G etc etc everything's down a whole step um, really um, obviously um, fattens everything up um, but your tuning you've got to be really careful with your tuning because um, it's easy to go and miss very very easily um, but anyway let's have a listen <laughs> Um, 
So yeah, it sounded great, you know, really, really good. <laughs> help and the new hardware um, I think really helps as well so anyway there we go um, enough yak and that um, the Washburn SS80